Hi, my name is Vico, and I have dyslexia. And I'm here to tell you that having dyslexia is okay. I'm gonna tell you my story of how I overcame dyslexia. But first, if you have dyslexia, I want you to remember this, that there are so many people like you that have dyslexia and that are doing amazing things. What is dyslexia, you ask? Well, dyslexia affects parts of the brain in the languaging process, which can make it harder to do English, reading, neat handwriting, some other languages like Spanish, and sometimes math. For me, it has made it harder to do reading and neat handwriting. And sometimes I get jumbled up in my words. In year one, I started noticing that so many people, I mean, in year one, I started noticing that remembering how to spell was very hard compared to my classmates. Although I practiced a lot more than they did, it felt very unfair because they still got it right and I got it wrong. It's not easy to be me, but I still put in the effort to improve my English skills. Don't let dyslexia get you down because there are so many people that have it. Did you know also famous people have it? One of the more famous people, Albert Einstein, he had dyslexia and he still changed the world. Here are three steps that, that I hope will help you as they helped me. One, get someone to help you. You might think at first you don't need help and you can do it, but trust me, you will need help. The people that helped me were Miss O'Connor and Adam, my tutor. They helped me by giving me phrases for like said, for instance, said. People that don't have dyslexia might think that it said's an easy word, it's only four letters. But people that have dyslexia, that's a whole different story, as it can be hard in many ways. Here is a phrase that they gave me. Snakes and insects dance. It is easy to remember or, and it is, is fun to use. If you take the first letter from all those four words, it can be really easy. Two, practice and persevere. Practicing will be hard, especially if it's a long piece of writing or or a piece or something that you have to rehearse. But don't let that get you down. Practice and persevere is makes perfect. As if you persevere, it means that you'll never give up. So, you should always persevere. So, in English work, or for any type, you'll always have a finished, nice piece of work in front of you. Three, have fun with it. Practicing and having those special lessons in and out of school might seem tough, as there are so many things, things you need to do. But just have fun with it. If we go back to the phrases that I was talking about, out use pictures or maybe a stuffed toy that might remind you how to spell it or someone or something and that can make it easy fun and make it so that you can remember it in an instant i hope you use these and i hope that it helps you overcome dyslexia thank you for listening to my ted talk